and bring home Tabata again. And there's some power from Garrett Jones. G.I. Jones. Down. Oh, and oh, oh, that him. play. That's how Josh just made it. Keep that ball in. Take me out to where the Pirates play. Catch the sights. Cheer the plays. Feel the glory. Walker's got it. Nobody's yes, second. He'll throw on the first. Good shot. McCutcheon hammers one. Deep to left field. A towering fly ball. Back pedaling is Craig. He's not going to get it. Here it is. And Walker swings and drives it deep to right field. Looking at it is Fukudome. It is gone. A grand slam for the Pittsburgh kid, Neil Walker. How do you like that? Top of the morning, Nash. I'm Brandon Lee. And I'm Craig Gingrich. And this is Nash Center. The boys' baseball team has had some trouble with the weather early in the season as they have only completed one of their first six scheduled games. They defeated Latrobe last Tuesday 4-2 in a nine-inning contest as junior Corey Foltz earned the season's first win. A trip to Florida turned out well yet again for an N.A. team. The girls' softball squad won their opening three games in Orlando with scores of 12-3, 10-0, and 4-3. This week they have games scheduled Tuesday through Friday. Two invitational titles are already under the boys' volleyball team's belts. The guys took first in both the NA Invitational and the Dairy Invitational this past weekend. In between those two victories, the dominant Tigers defeated both Shaler and PR 3-0, sweeping all the sets. The team, ranked second in all the state, travels to Butler tonight. The tennis guys have a good amount of matches under their belt as well, and they have remained undefeated throughout. The team defeated Pierce Township, Pine Richland, Seneca Valley, Central Valley, and Shaler, all by 4-1 to one or better. They had matches Monday through Wednesday this week, while section singles will take place today and tomorrow. The Large Tiger track team has had three matches so far this season. Tuesday, they hosted Erie Cathedral Prep and Villa Maria, winning both boys and girls matches, and Friday they won both when traveling to North Hills. The girls lacrosse team has started off the season posting a 2-1 mark. They defeated both Vincentian and Quaker Valley. The boys lacrosse team has also started 2-1. They kicked off the year traveling to Maryland where they defeated East Chapel Hill in a double OT thriller and defeated Butler 15-1. The battling Buckos are back in business. They opened the season at Wrigley Field winning their first series of the season 2-1. This road series victory is huge as they only won four road series all of last year. They then traveled to St. Louis to take on the Cardinals and split the first two games. They won the rubber match and took another series on the road last night defeating the Cards. The Pirates will be welcoming the Colorado Rockies in only a few hours to kick off a four game series. Today is their 2011 home opener as Paul Mahalam takes on Esmo Rogers. The Pittsburgh Penguins have two games remaining in the regular season and sit one point behind the Philadelphia Flyers as they vie for the Atlantic Division title. The Penguins defeated the Panthers 4-2 on Saturday at the Bank Atlantic Center in Florida as Zabinik McCulloch unleashed a laser from the point to give the Pens the lead for good in the third period. They then returned home to defeat the Devils 4-2 on Tuesday night as Pascal Dupuis netted two goals on the night. The Penguins return to Long Island to take on the New York Islanders in a hate match tomorrow night and wrap up the regular season on Sunday in Atlanta. Have a good one, Nash. It's Masters time.
Mass Center. A tradition not like any other. 